Hello friends, welcome to the tutorial series on JEST from Software Testing Help. As part of the agenda, we'll learn more about matchers and JEST. We'll see different types of matchers that are truthiness and falseness matchers. String matchers where you can use a regex to match a given string. Number matchers for arithmetic or numeric operations. And we have a couple of matchers like greater than, less than, greater than, equals, etc. And finally, exception matches where you can validate exceptions thrown from a function or code that you are testing. So let's get started. First, let's see what exactly are matches. If you go on the JEST official documentation, you will see that how you can use different matches and different types of matches that are available. But essentially, matches are nothing but a way to assert output in JEST test. What this means is it it's required to test the actual output against expected output output and depending on that your test will result return success or failure so let's see how we can use these matches we'll use the same code uh, that we had used earlier in our calculator.js method it's nothing but a simple constant math operation which has three functions sum divide and multiply and we have exported this as math operations or we can directly export it as math operations constant. So now let's try writing test for these. So first let's learn about truthiness or falsy matches. These matches nothing are nothing but they check whether a value is having a truth component or not what this also means is suppose you have a value say x which is 0 and according to javascript 0 means a false value so suppose 0 or boolean false or null if you want to do these kind of checks you can use truthiness and falsiness operators so let's use the math operations uh, some method and I'll add say two, three. Now let's write a couple of matches. The ones we had previously used are just to match the values to be five. Let's try running this. And I am running these tests in watch mode. So as soon as I save, I'll be able to get the result. So it's saying to one pass. Now let's say expect val to be truthy. Now what this means is I have some data in this, right? So let's say truthy. Now it says pass. Now let's try for a non-truthy value. I'll say math of dot sum. Let's say both the inputs are zero. So I'll expect these to be truthy, not to be truthy. So if I say expect well to be truthy and run, my test will pass. It says that identifier val has been declared. No, okay, this is some other error. I'll name it as val2, suppose. So it will still pass. It says received to be truthy. This is the error. So I'll have to say not to be truthy. And it says pass. Similarly, let's try for say a null value or boolean false value so suppose i say i say expect false to be truthy this should also fail because false is a falsy value not truthy value can see that expect well to not to be truthy and expect false to be truthy is now throwing an error if I say it is to be falsy it will pass here you see so truthiness and falsiness are nothing but to check whether a value actually represents a true value or not and true value means anything that is not zero not null 
or not boolean false let's move on with number matches we'll write a dummy test here and number matches we have a couple of them like to be greater than to be less than greater than equal etc so i'll use the same uh, math operation i know the result will be 5 so let's say expect well to be less than suppose 10 so i'm just trying to write the same value or assertion with different types of matches to be greater than say suppose 2 to be less than or equal say 10 or say 5 because 5 is the actual output to be so we have used four types of numeric matches here let's say and we can see that this still passes because all these matches will return true because our sum is 5 and all these conditions are met so that's about number matchers. Let's go to string matchers. And string matchers are nothing but regex matchers. So let's say constant string. Let's say software testing help. I'll say expect val to match. That's the string matcher. And that's the syntax you can use. So now what I'm saying is in this entire string, I should find a word testing. Let's run this. Okay, it says reference is not defined. So I'll let me write it as well. And you can see that this still pass because it can find testing word here. Now let me change it to say testing one. It will fail because it's saying receive to match. The pattern was this and the actual string did not match. Similarly, you can use regex also here. So suppose I show T S star and it will still pass. So this is just regex matching here. If you want to use not to match a regex, you can say not T S B suppose something like this. Suppose I write this and it will still pass. Now let's move on to the last section that is uh, the exception matches. For this, let's write a function which throws an exception. I will go to my calculator test.js file. I'll write a function that throws an exception. And let's say I'll just throw an exception here. And I'll say exception. And I'll have to export it since I need to use it there. And this also will need to change. Not house dot math operations because now it's an object that's exported and now let's write an test for exception so I'll say expect math ops dot throw exception to throw so there are three variants of this I can write this and I'll say to throw error and I can write this to throw error and I can match the actual error and if I run this it still passes because all these three assertions are passing so let me try 
to fail this let me try to change this text if I run this still passes Here. So basically it does a regex match and if I add something here, something other than what's there in the actual method, it will throw an error. We can also introduce not here so if I say not to throw error it will expect that this function should not throw an error and it will still fail so if I still comment this out and run it it will still fail because it says not to throw error but it's actually throwing an error so that's it for the matchers in jest in next tutorial we'll see how we can create HTML and code coverage reports in jest thank you